Hey everyone, and welcome to this video on linked lists. This video is designed to sit after the week seven Wednesday lecture and go over in one more time uh, how we can insert a value in the middle of a linked list. In this case, we're inserting a node into um, some sort of sorted linked list so that we keep a sequential order of our data. So let's get straight into it. This is the same code that we've used in the lecture um, and you have access to this code in the lecture code repository. So first of all, like always, we start off by uh, creating a pointer to a node in main and assigning it the value null. So what this essentially means is that even though um, head pointer is a pointer to a struct node, we can just say, hey, we don't have any data to point to, so you can point to null. Um, we then jump into the first uh, insert in sequence function call. And we're passing two things in here. Um, we're passing in the address of the head pointer variable and the number five. What this essentially means is that we're passing in a pointer to a pointer. Now, while that might sound very complicated um, and unnecessary, maybe the reason we need to do this will be evident quite soon. But bear with me for a moment. We're passing in a um, the address of the head pointer location in the main stack frame, and we're passing in the number five. So in our insert in sequence function, we have a pointer called head, which points to a pointer to a node. So this is visually represented a lot more simply than it sounds where we have these two arrows um, and we follow it over to the null value. So what are we doing in this function? Well, we make a new pointer called current and we say that its value is the same as the dereferenced value of head. So what that means is follow um, the pointer in head down to the head pointer value in main, and then take the value of that and assign it to current. So therefore current will directly point to null. Um, it's not a pointer to a pointer, it's a single um, nested pointer. We then make it yet another uh, node pointer and we simply assign previous to null. Um, so previous, uh, basically everything here is pointing to null at this point. We then have this while loop uh, and we have this condition in the while loop. So is current not equal to null? Well, let's take a look. I've highlighted the current pointer arrow here. Current is pointing to null. So this condition is in fact not true. Therefore this while loop won't actually run at all in this case. So we come down to this line 24. What we're doing here is calling this create node function, which exists somewhere else in our program. Uh, its job is to call malloc and create a struct node on the heap and pass in the, both the data and the next um, pointer. So what we have here is this new variable called new node. It's a pointer and it's assigned the result of calling create node, which is the location in the heap um, to point to. So it's got a reference to where this new variable was created. We then come down to line 25 and we say, um, is the previous uh, pointer pointing to null? The answer to this is true, yes. So this condition will run. And herein lies the reason that we had to pass in a pointer to a pointer. Um, if we think back to passing data to functions in C, be it an integer or a pointer, doesn't matter what it is, what's actually happening is that a copy of the value is made and that's what's passed in. Therefore, if you changed a parameter or an argument in a function, then that function, uh, if it changes that value, whoever called it, whoever passed it in, in this case, main passing in the head pointer, um, we wouldn't actually be able to change the value outside of the function. What passing in a pointer to something does is lets us uh, manipulate the reference. Therefore, we can change and update the value from the calling function. And it's no different for when it's a pointer. We just have to pass in a pointer to the pointer. So what we're saying here is take the value of new node, which is that location um, on the heap where we have our node with the value of five and assign it to a single D reference of head. That's what that asterisk on line 26 is, is saying. So it's saying follow the pointer in head once, um, which now gets us into the head pointer location in main and change the value in memory that it's storing to be the location of uh, 
the, uh, the node with the value of five on the heap. So you can sort of see what this does here is it actually is able to change what's happening in main. And there's really no other way of doing this unless you pass in a pointer to the memory location that you'd like to change. So that's the reason we pass in a pointer to a pointer. It's not because we just want to be um, evil and make things more confusing for you. That ends the function. And as we know, when a function ends, its stack frame is deleted and all the variables are deleted. And what we're left with is a surprisingly simple, um, <laughs> uh, you know, layout where we have this head pointer variable in main pointing to a location on the heap, which happens to store a node. Its value is five and it points to null. Okay, let's run this again um, with an element in our linked list this time. And we're passing in the value seven here. Uh, so once again, we take the memory location of the pointer, head pointer, and the value seven, we pass that into insert in sequence. Um, we initialize the values in the parameters. Uh, we then create our current uh, variable. It's a pointer and we're taking the value of um, the pointer uh, in head, which is going to point it to the value on the heap. We then make a new no, uh, pointer called previous and it's pointing to null. We then have our uh, while loop here and we're saying, well, while current is not null, which yes, that's true at the moment, it's not null, it's pointing to the node with the value of five. And while um, the current data value, which is the number five, the integer five, is less than the integer stored in data, uh, which is the value seven inside of the function, um, and in this case, both of those conditions are true. Therefore, what we're actually going to do is try and uh, iterate through our linked list. So our previous um, pointer is going to change and be assigned to whatever it is that current's pointing to. So it's also going to point to the node with the value of five. And then the current pointer, we're also going to change that and say, well, look at the value in uh in the node with the value of five, follow its next pointer, it's pointing to null, therefore current is pointing to null. So you can see previous has moved forward, current has moved forward, and we've iterated through our linked list. We then check again, is current equal to null? Current is equal to null right now, therefore this condition fails because we wanted to test if it's not null, because um, we're at the end of the linked list now. So we've found the position that we want to insert our new node. So that's what we're going to do. We call create node, we pass in data and current. So we create a new node on the heap. Its value this time is seven and it's pointing to current. Current's pointing to null. That makes sense because this node is going to go at the end of the list. Problem left is that we need to tell the previous node that it should now point to this new node that we created. And that's essentially what this if statement's doing here. So if previous is null, uh, which it's not, that means we need to rearrange um, the linking. So we take that previous element, um, which is the node with the value of five, and we change its next pointer to point to the location of new node. And once again, when we clean up um, the stack frame, what we're left with is uh, a linked list in the heap with the value of five pointing to the value of seven. Okay, let's do this one more time. This time you can see we're passing in the value six so six should go between the nodes five and seven, right? Because this function is all about keeping our linked list in sequential order or sequence. But once again, everything's happening just the same. We pass in the memory location of the head pointer variable in main and the value six. Those get initialized in the stack frame. We create our current and previous nodes. Current is pointing to um, the value of the dereferenced head pointer. Um, so basically means sort of follow it twice. So current is now going to point to the first node in the, in the heap, which is the value of five. And our previous value uh, is going to point to null, like always. We then have to loop through until we find the position that we need to add the node. Um, so is current equal to null? No, it's not. So that's all good. And is five, that's the value that current is pointing to, less than six. Uh, that's the element that we want to, uh, to add. This is true. So uh, it's time to iterate through our linked list. So the previous pointer is going to be assigned um, to 
uh, where current is currently pointing to, and then current's gonna shift forward and follow the next pointer of where it was pointing to. So now it will point to the node with the value seven. We then have the if statement again. Now current is not pointing to null, it's now pointing to the second value in the linked list. Um, however, the values in data stored in um, the node with the value of seven is less than data six. So we've actually found the position in which we need to insert our nodes. It's gonna go in between current and previous. Uh, so we don't run the while loop because the condition failed. We create our new struct uh, on the heap by calling the create node function. Uh, so we make a new um, node with the value of six. We pass in current as our new node's next value. So that gets hooked up in the create node function. Um, and we pass in, uh, assign that um, memory location to the new node variable. We then say is previous equal to null? In this case, it's not. Um, therefore that condition fails. And once again, it's time to hook up our linked list so that it's all pointing correctly. So we take the previous uh, node's next value, which is the node with the value of five, and we assign it to new node. New node is the node with the value of six. Um, that actually ends the function. We remove all the data in the insert in sequence stack frame. And what we're left with if we clean up the arrows is um, actually a sequence linked list. So head pointer refers to the memory in the heap with the value of five. Five is then pointing to six that's jumping over seven and six is pointing to seven. If we rearrange that, we have a perfectly sequenced linked list five, six, seven, seven finalizing the linked list and pointing to null.